At Tech Blog XXX, we always do our unboxing in our boxers. <laughs> These are gym shorts. Oh, those are gym shorts. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we are with the Nokia Lumia 710. That's right. A Windows phone. Look at that thing. Look at that box. It's nice. It's a nice box. It is a pretty box. Now, note that, well, actually, I think we might have taken it off already, but there were some stickers on here that say that simply by opening the box, you will have uh, agreed to T-Mobile's terms and um, terms and conditions. So, I don't know how that's legally binding, but it is pretty funny. It said opening or using the device. Yeah. But, since I got this without any contracts, mm, that doesn't really apply. So, here's the, we're going to do the official opening slash unveiling of this thing. Yes. Whoosh! Wow. Good that thing we didn't do this over bricks. Yep. <laughs> and okay. there's the phone appears to be okay, folks. Yeah. Look at that. That's so, nice. That's, on here. that's a nice package. Obviously, this is the black one. There's also a white version. Oh, and, oh, I like that. Check out the guide that says where everything is. Yep. Now, keep in mind, this is very important because the Nokia 900, the Lumia 900, doesn't have anything that differentiates the buttons on the side of the camera. It actually has just little silver buttons all over the place. And apparently, Nokia is following suit with the 710. Well, I guess it's not following suit because this it's came out first. the other way around, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's actually a bit better with this one because you only have volume up and down and camera while the power button is up here. But I know with the 800, the power button is right here. And then if you just look at it for the first time, you have no idea whether that's the power button or mm -hmm. that's the power button over there. So whatever you do, don't lose this. Just leave it on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's terrible. Yeah. Now, what, what you can't really tell from the camera, but it's still stunning, is how the, um, the display just... You, you just can't see the, the LCD panel. That clear black display is just fascinating. It's just so beautiful. Oh, and there's the shooter. Yeah. There we go. No, it's not... The 710 being a... It's a 5 megapixel shooter. Being a more... Uh, Economy price device. Price-friendly device. Which Stevie, Stephen Elop megapixel. was saying that that was... One of their deals is going and making sure that the price points are competitive. Yep. Give everybody Windows Phone. So, this is one of the low-end models. So, it yeah. Is, it's, it's the low-end model. Well, I'm sure they'll have others. Yeah, eventually it'll be on Sprint. <laughs> I was actually arguing with the guy at the booth that um, Sprint does indeed have Windows phones. He was telling me that they don't. I'm Seriously? Like, and then he, he, they clarified, oh, no, it's Nokia Windows phones they don't have. I'm like, well, yeah, that's true. But he was getting adamant about it. I'm like, hmm. uh -huh. wow, that's just silliness. All right, so this is the device. Uh, let's let's see what at, else is in the box. Let's take a look at the package here. Huh? This has a bunch of manuals. That is a lot of text. Wow. Check it out. A Microsoft-like product that has manuals. Let's see. Start guide. Fairly thin. Terms and conditions. Return policy. Limited warranty. Oh, that's from T-Mobile. From T-Mobile. Okay. That makes sense. Nokia connecting people product and safety information. Yeah, you can get carpal tunnel. Handset recycling program from T-Mobile. Not to be used for credit returns. Apparently. Okay, that's weird. And... Oh, uh, there's your SIM card. A SIM card for some reason. I don't know why. Cool, now that that's on video, please don't steal whatever that number is. Not that it matters. Sasha has AT&T anyway, so... Yeah. And this... If anybody wants that, just let us know. Hmm. Interesting. What's remaining in the box is a USB cable, battery. Oh, what size is that battery? 1300 milliamp hour. Oh, okay. Interestingly enough, the 900 has a sealed battery. So I hope you get a good one. Oh, and there's the charger. Charger. As usual, it's the one with just a USB port. Yeah. Now, does it say Nokia on it, or does it say Kung Fu? You know, whatever the... Nokia. Nokia. Good. 
See, I love those types of products where they made actually put the name on it. It's okay if it's made in China, I, even though I don't generally like buying Chinese and stuff. And printed in the USA. <laughs> the sticker right there was printed in the USA. <laughs> it's, but, it's actually not even a sticker. Oh, really? It's, wow. It's just printed on the box. Spared yeah. no expense. Exactly. Quite nice. Is there anything on the back of the box? Um, Specs. Oh, specs. Nice. Yeah. There's, oh, Check it out. Don't, one look, point, don't look oh, at that stuff. That's a 1.4 gigahertz processor right there. Check that out. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. It'll probably be blurry. Yeah, it says so, 4G capable, Windows Phone 7.5, 3.7 inch high resolution touchscreen, 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, 1.4 gigahertz processor. Nice. Oh, and it comes with a battery and charger with a SIM card. Well, we could have just read that. We wouldn't even have to open the box. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? And notice that the only uh, color on the back is the Windows Phone logo. Mm -hmm. Which now, take a look at this. It's blue, but on Sasha's shirt, it's red. This is an older shirt. Yeah, it is an old shirt. I remember on, when you got on it. The, on the new shirts, uh, the logo is actually square. No. Oh. Apparently not on this box. No, it's square. No? Oh, it is. It is square. Holy crap. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's a go with you the tile style. <laughs> I don't, no, I got LASIK. It's cool. It's cool. So, All right, so the next question is... How do you open the back of this thing? I don't know. Pull real hard and hope you don't break it. Probably with this. Huh. huh. This is extremely light. It's just plastic stuff. It's not polycarbonate on the back? No. It's the it's the rubbery, the nice soft yeah. touch leather. Rubber, or, uh, rubbery, rubber. rubbery plastic stuff. Yeah. This is a typical FCC stuff. Mm-hmm. IMEI. Oh, and there's the SIM slot. Yes. So, yeah. That's about it. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. What's that right there? Is that just... Oh, that's, that's to make it oh. easier to pull off this uh, info. Oh, okay. Stuff. Oh, and by the way, physical buttons. Those are going away, aren't they? No, they're not. They're on the Windows, uh, no, but they're touch sensitive very, on the other ones. Very few Windows Phone devices have physical buttons. I wish more did, because then with these you don't have any issues. For example, playing um, playing any games where you're just doing stuff and then suddenly you hit search and you're out of the game. So with this, obviously that isn't a problem. Nice. Okay, well, thank you for checking out this unboxing video, and uh, I'm going to go upload it in a few minutes. Bye.